Hello, um, this is a video that I've been wanting to make for a long time. I've actually made a couple and never had the courage basically to upload them. And this is my story of what exactly fear mongers and these truthers, for want of a better word, put out and the effect that they can have on a human being who at the time perhaps isn't in a very good headspace mentally or they're vulnerable children, vulnerable adults, vulnerable young people. Really, it, nobody is immune to this. But if you are of a certain, if you're in a certain space at a certain time in your mind, you can become extremely susceptible to this, as I did. I'm going to start back in 2012, or prior to that I had heard of the Mayan prophecy, and it, you know, it was just white noise really, and then once we got into 2012, it was, you know, made quite prevalent really you you couldn't read a paper and then there'd been the film you couldn't read the you couldn't read a paper or anything without it being in there regarding the Mayans and the end of the world and Nostradamus and and all these other things so I started to research online and I came across a lot of videos and not just the Mayan prophecy but Nibiru Planet X and Basically, I was hooked and I kept watching these videos and watching these videos and in the end, I actually believed what I was being told and it, it became all-encompassing and before I knew it, I wasn't eating and I wasn't sleeping and I was outside looking for signs and even walking down the street, I would feel, if I felt something... I thought it was an earthquake. I thought it was going to be some meteorite smashing into the planet or everything. And the more, every every normal day thing, and the news, if I saw that there'd been a hurricane or an earthquake, well, to me it was a precursor to what was coming. So I found other channels online and I watched them and it became to the point where I was obsessed with it. And I got telling people that we're all going to die and we're going, what's the point of living? We're gonna be killed. And I still kept watching these videos. And as the year progressed into sort of July and August and, and December was getting closer I the panic the panic started setting in inside and I couldn't eat I couldn't sleep I couldn't function I couldn't even look outside go outside if the clouds look funny it was a precursor if the Sun looked funny something was gonna happen and I was looking for all these signs and I just couldn't I couldn't function basically and before I knew it, I found myself looking online on how to commit suicide, how to prep should something happen, and I was weighing down all the, I was weighing up all the, the options basically. And the only viable option I had, I could see at the time, was to take my own life. So I started to consider ways of committing suicide. And as I said earlier, I'm a, I'm a mother and I even thought perhaps it would be preferable if my son didn't survive either. And I became fixated with all these things and I, I lost weight. I, I just... I was, I was emotional, I kept crying. I mean, I'm not gonna say that these fear sites are solely to blame, not at all. But I do believe that 
um, I do believe that they they play an enormous part in feeding fear into people without the cons without any regard to the consequence that they may have on someone who is watching that video and aren't in a good place at that time only for what to make themselves feel better to get viewer numbers to monetize on videos I can say that now easily but at the time in the headspace that I was in I was vulnerable I was completely open to it so we're going to fast forward slightly to December I'd got to the point where I was really quite beside myself and the eve of the day that it was supposed to happen I wasn't I wasn't very good to be honest and I didn't sleep and I waited and waited and waited and waited and waited for this event to happen and of course it didn't and when it didn't I felt a plethora of things I felt relief anger sadness I, I really thought that you know that something was going to happen and then after this happened that's when it hit i don't know if it was a build up of living constant living like i was that a couple of months later i had a chronic breakdown and i was medicated i had a crisis team i had um, i nearly got institutionalized i was that close to being put into an institution and as i said it isn't I'm not going to solely blame these fear mongers, the likes of Matt Rogers and WSO and Jeff P for what happened to me, but I do believe they do what they do with total disregard to other people and the subs that follow them. You only have to read the comments to see that there's some very fractured and vulnerable people out there. So like I said, I don't believe they were 100% to blame, but I do think they didn't help. So what I'd like to say is, if anybody out there feels exactly like I did, please go and get help. There is help out there for you. And don't believe what they say. There is no planet out there that's going to come and wipe us out. There are no chemtrails. There's nothing that they say there is, but they'll have you believe that there is. I don't know whether they believe that, believe it themselves, or it's just for financial or for financial gain or ego gain. But please, go and get help. Step away from the videos, and go and live your life. Right, blessings. Thank you for watching.